Well, good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday. I hope everybody's been up and at it and you're ready to go. You've got your three-piece suits on. You've made it to work already. You ran a couple red lights, but you didn't get in an accident. Sorry, I'm closing up the programs here. Okay. All right. Good morning, Wade. Good morning, Fred. JW. Hey, Doug. Good morning. Terry G, Rob C, Maureen, good morning to you folks. How are you? Andy, Mike, uh, Crunch, Kennedy, Steph, Larry, good morning. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Gavin. I love my mornings. I love my mornings. This is pretty cool. It's nice to have everybody come on and say good morning. It's just great. Hey, um, yesterday I talked to a few members that were um, uh, in Florida uh, with the hurricane and everything and all is good. Um, I've sent a couple Skypes to a couple others kind of waiting to hear from them. But, um, yeah, everybody's, everybody's, uh, so far. Okay. Uh, it's a madhouse. Um, uh, no, no communication, very hard to communicate, uh, because things aren't working there, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So, yeah, real cool. Thank goodness. I, I'm really happy to hear that. So, uh, Mai's asking how John, John, John Cape Coral. Uh, he's one of the the gentlemen I talked to last night. We he we were able to talk on Skype. Uh, I think we said maybe thirty words in about eight minutes because it kept going down and then we'd get it back up going down. But he is okay. Uh, all good. So, a lot of rubble. A lot of rubble. Anyway, I wanted to pass that on. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, wow. It, all right. No. Oh, come on. Seriously. A show of hands here. Okay. How many people get up in the morning and one of the first three things you do is check the futures or check your account, check trading, you know, something. Too. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> JW. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of us. <laughs> yep. First thing, we are what you call addicts. <laughs> we are what you call addicts. <laughs> That's okay. Today was something. We're up a whole bunch. I don't know what it is exactly right now. Dow was up for over 400 points a little while ago. Okay, so that's great. Um, I think it's fantastic. Nothing would make me happier than to have a little rally up and set up for some more shorts. Now, you know what? I, I was, I've, I've got two emails this morning asking me, is this the bottom? Um, you know, are we done? You know, I, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. I think there is more downside uh, to come. I truly do. Um, can that downside happen sometime today? Sure, it could. Could it happen a week from now? Yes, it could. How about two weeks from now? Yes, it could. Um, we could have something like this right here, which this was just, that was just as sweet as apple pie right there. And then down we go. And we could have that same sweet little bullish trend, and then we can have that sweet bearish trend. So the point here is mind your P's and Q's, pay attention to resistance, watch the charts. Don't get carried away that the bulls are taking it away. They might be taking it away today. Uh, they might even take it away tomorrow, a week from now they might. But I'm just not sure that they're ready to, um, I don't think the bulls are big enough to handle the ball just yet. If you look at the weekly chart, you can see that we, let me make that a little darker for you. There you go. You can see we're sitting on the 200 period moving average. 200 period moving average is extremely important. Worthwhile to note. Having a bounce off that is not a, not a major surprise. It's not, it's not something you want to guarantee, that's for sure. Uh, but it's not a big surprise we're getting this bounce off the 200. As I look at the chart, though, uh, the chart is still very much in a downtrend. 
we could very much put that rally in. But if we take a look at what's below it, I mean, let's think about this. We might be on the 200. And while I believe in moving averages a lot, I also believe in price action. And as I look at that 200, put a line here and move across, and I have to be th looking at this chart thinking to myself, what is so strong about this area? I am not sure that I'm seeing it. If we move this down a little more, I actually think right here might be a little stronger. Let me point out, let's see, can I make this bigger? I mean, well, can't do that. Let me try this. I'm wasting time here, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, now I can make it bigger for you. There we go. All right, so let me get my uh, arrow out here. So if you take a look at uh, 323.70 over here, I think we've got some good price action support right here. It also will also be looking at these candles, uh, two, two candles right in here. Again, this is a weekly chart. If we move over to the left, we've got another little little pop-up from a doji here. And if we look over here, we've got those candles. So, you know, like I said, I look over here and I think, well, what is really stopping it? The strongest thing I see is the 200. But the 200 by itself, it, it's, not a, it's not a foundation by itself. Um, so, that's what I'm kind of looking for. And I truthfully, I could make an argument for even lower, uh, but let's uh, let's uh, let's handle one argument at a time. Let's worry about what we have. Okay, so with that said, let's take advantage of any bullish trend. Number one, follow the trend. Don't try to don't try to argue with the trend. That's just tough to do. Okay, so. Last night I did a video posted on YouTube. If anybody saw it, I had this line drawn up here, 374.42. We're almost there. Above that, we just might get a little run, a little bit of a bullish rumble maybe, to 392.50 and then up here to 400 on the 50 period moving average. Now look, uh, this news, headlines, uh, events make a difference. And in this day and age, um, when, when, when the news media seems to think that we have to know uh, every time somebody of importance takes a poop, well, you got to know it's going to shake the market one way or another. And uh, for some reason, media seems to think we have to know all this stuff, so they put it in this headlines, uh, and, and usually the headlines aren't exactly accurate. Headlines are to create ratings. So be careful. Follow price. Follow the trend. Pay attention to your charts. You are smarter than any news event out there. All you got to do is read the chart. Okay, so with that said, let's look at some bullishness today because that's what it's kind of looking like, okay? Take a look at Amazon. Amazon's popping up here. We've got a low, high, higher, low. Boop. We move above that high, we've got some bullishness. Where's the logical place? Trading is so logical, just logical. Uh, you have to know that, though. I mean, you have to, what, where is it? You know, what is the logic here? Well, the logic is to run into resistance. Resistance is a price target for bullishness, while support is a price target, target for bearishness. So that's logical. I know that the 50 period moving average is strong. I know it's potent, I know it's big, and I know it's an animal. So that would be the next logical target. We'll worry about anything after that if we get there. Home Depot. Now, Home Depot, here we've had this nice little, uh, if we take this line right here, and we go here, and up through here, this creates the head, that's a left shoulder, right shoulder, inverted head and shoulders. Um, Nice little pullback, kind of a J-hook uh, pullback or flag pullback here. And boom, we've popped up. We're over the 34 EMA now. Uh, we don't want to chase, okay? We don't want to chase, so be careful. Now, it might start ripping, roaring, and going, and that's great. Be a trader. But right now, I'm kind of watching Home Depot for a little bit of a rest. I might not get it. If I don't get it, that's okay. 
There's others out there. And then from a logical, simply look at the chart, where is resistance? That is a target for a bullish trade. The 50 period moving average is a monster. It's big. It carries a big bat, swings a big stick. It's important. We also have this little price shelf right here. So 296 and a quarter might be a target. Once we get over that, we can worry about the 200 or 321, but let's let's worry about this target first. Meta. Hmm. Huh. You know Meta gets a bat rap. I hear it I hear it everywhere. I hear it on news media. I hear it on you know everybody everybody wants to crap on on Facebook, you know. When when you're when you're the big dog, when you're when you're king of the hill, Everybody wants to knock you down, even in personal life. Think about it. You all know this. Everybody wants to knock you down. Well, you know what? If you don't like social media, I don't care. I mean, you shouldn't care. We're here to make money. We're here to trade the markets. So here's what I see in social media. We've got a, um, an engulfing candle here, and we've got all these inside days of this engulfing candle. If, 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 Facebook, Book Meta, I guess. If Meta can move over 141.50 and um, hold, then where's the next logical target? Now, for those of you that are familiar with the pinball setup, and by the way, tonight, members e learning, this is members for hit and run candlesticks and right way options uh, in the combo room. I'll be uh, hosting tonight. We're going to talk about. Um, the that's going to be the topic the uh the pinball a whole bunch of them okay I'll, I'll talk about them later but uh i think it'll be worthwhile for members to be there so i hope you're there it will be recorded if you can't make it logical target the second logical target up here and for those of you and i run into these people from time to time that seem to think that if you have a day like this you're going to have th this is what you know, if somebody posts a chart with a target, this is what they seem to think is going to happen. Newsflash, that is not what happens in real life trading. In big boy and big girl trading, that is not what happens. What happens is this right here. Sure, we pop up and we might even pop up again. But then what we do is we rest. We might get going here again. We might go again. And then we rest. There's no logic to my color combination here. <laughs> and then we might move up again, just like that. And we might rest. That's the way it works, okay? In real life trading, it just doesn't go from here to here. So, sorry to disappoint a few people out there. Had somebody on YouTube share with me that. I Like, wow, okay. Um, LVS. I kind of like what LVS is doing. That is one ugly sloppy chart, but I still like the chart. You can see the trend here. Nice bullish trend. I can move this out of the way and just take a look at the 50 period moving average. Trend, 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 trend. Bears had a chance to really, really knock this thing down, but bulls came back with a vengeance. They pulled back like they're supposed to do. That is normal. If it kept going up, I would think something is wrong. It pulled back. Now we've got this little morning star right in here. One bar, two bar, three bar morning star. And now we're seeing a little follow through above the T-line. I've had this buy box drone for several days here, actually when it was up here. Or maybe it was here. No, it was here. And then we went to the downside. Well, now we're coming back up. Targets above. Here's NEM. I think I'm liking this chart right here. This is pretty. This is pretty. Anybody with a fam anybody that's familiar with the rounded bottom breakout, you see the beauty in it. This is one of the things we'll be talking about tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern on this Tuesday, October 4th. Members webinar, hit run candlesticks, right way options. So here we've got this double bottom. We've rallied up. We clipped that 50 period moving average yesterday. We're showing a little positive trading today. This line right here, I have this drawn 
because that's where I'm most interested in buying it above 4420 up here. So we'll look for a buy here up to the most logical target. It's just logic. It's not difficult. It, it really is easy, but it does take time. It does take time to learn this and to figure this out. 51 and a quarter. Uh, that's a 14.3% 14, 14 move inside this green box. That's not too shabby. If we were to push this up and finish the rounded bottom breakout trade, that's another 18 and three quarter percent. Now, we know, we know that the stock is not just going to go one, two, three, four days like that. Assuming it really does get here because there's absolutely zero guarantee it's going to get there. It's going to do something like this. That's what it does. That's what charts do. Uh, everybody knows that that this uh, General Mills is working. I put this chart up here just because it is a really pretty chart. Um, 50 period moving average is trending. The 34 is trending. We had this pop up. We had this pullback. This is just a classic uh, three eighths trap type trade here. We'll talk about that more today. MPC. Um, I bought some MPC yesterday and I sold half my MPC yesterday to protect some profits. Still have half of it. It's still moving up. Target is still 106.10 followed by 110.70 and then we'll worry about a higher target up here. Now I know, you know, everybody knows that at some point this thing is going to rest. I can't tell you that it's for sure going to be right here. Far as I know, this could be the top today. Welcome to trading. What we're looking for is that trend to work. Just like this. Here, I'm going to change color. Blue. We'll go from a low to a high to a higher low. We'll call that a higher high right now today, this morning. At some point, it's going to rest. And that will be a higher low, assuming it moves up. So we're going to work the trend here in NPC. VLO is another one. That's beautiful right here, VLO. Um, 122.50 here, this top, logical target. Um, here's something I get asked often. See where I have my line drawn? You could actually draw your line like this. Uh, say that's one big fat line, okay? Look. You, you can put this line at the very tops if you want. You can put it at the bottom. You can put it in the middle. When we get to this point, it's about what price does. It's not, it's, you know, if you put some line up here, you can do all the measurements, the math. You can do all the, the uh, uh, you can get your protractor out. You can get your compass out. You can get everything out. You can get your calculator out. You can do all the math in the world. You can get your Fibonacci out. You can do anything. You put a line here, you know, there are, will be those times you will nail it. You will nail it. This stock will pop up like this, you know, several days. It'll nail that line and then it'll rest. By golly, you do it enough times, you'll get it right. But by and large, what happens is you put your line up here. It's just a guideline. By and large, what you do is you follow price. You get to a point. You can look at an intraday chart maybe. You can see the candles thinning out. You can see the bulls getting tired. What does that mean? It means it might need a rest. And then it's like, what the heck? It didn't make it to my line. Be a trader. Be a trader. Be smart. Be smart. All right. Okay. I need another cup of coffee. That was good coffee today too. All right, everybody, we'll see you in about 20 minutes when the market opens up. Thank you so very much for being here. And remember, tonight, 8 p.m., August 4th, 2022, members, Hit Run Candlesticks, Right Way Options. We're going to go over five different setups, five different setups. All right, take care of you, folks. We'll see you in a bit, okay?